All right, guys. So you want to learn how to whistle without using your fingers or, or all that. You want a cowboy whistle. Here's how you do it. First rule, uh, you're going to want to get you a beverage. Adult uh, beverage, preferably if you are underage. Soda, water, whatever. You're going to keep your mouth moist. So here's the deal. This is what worked for me. So whenever you start, you're forcing air, like if you had a coffee straw and you stuck it up underneath your teeth and you're blowing it down. That's what you're trying to go for with your tongue and your top teeth. So like you stick your tongue out. Right here, see this? See that indent in my lip right there? See that air going down? That's kind of what you want to start with. It's not what you're going to end with. So you're going... And it's blowing that air down. Okay. So you want to go from a... To... You want to make your tongue flat across your teeth, but still try to focus that air with that coffee straw down. See that dent right there? All right. Once you figure that out, you you know you start with the. All right, so here's, once you figure out the tongue part, now we're, this is where the jaw comes into play. Make sure you're all lubed up. The jaw can be set back or forwards. Depends on how you are, how you're set up anyways. It's a opening, closing to try to figure out where you're at you you'll know take it in steps you'll you'll figure it out as you go like oh that works for me that doesn't work for me try to remember what works for you what doesn't work for you and then go from there so you go from You hear that? That. That's you. My dog's going crazy. That's you forcing that air out of your tongue down into a pocket. That's what's going to create the whistle. You're, that the tongue will vibrate. I'll link some videos that help me. But if you're going and forcing that air down, that's what's going to start helping you figure it out a little bit anyways so you're going from and you'll play with that for like 40 forevers these videos that are like oh 30 minutes and learn how to do this that's not how it works it takes a lot of time you get better at it you get worse at it you get discouraged you get better then you suck again, and then then you're all right, and then next thing you know, you, you kind of got it. But, it, I mean, it's just going to take time. So, anyways, <laughs> I have it. It's just a matter of moving that flat. Once you start getting that train whistle, that thing figured out, rehydrate, look at yourself in the mirror. That's what really helped me was the, once I could see that jet, that going down, 
it was a matter of moving my tongue and then my jaw back and forth to finally figure out like, okay, this, this is where you start getting better. And once you get that first squeak, you're like, oh, now we're in, now we're in. You'll figure it out, but I promise it's, it's possible. I thought I was a guy that could never, ever, ever whistle, but you can do it. Stay hydrated. And then just practice. You'll get it. Promise.